How's it going everyone? Ben here from Augment Guitars and today we're going to be sanding down the neck and prepping it for new inlays. This video is a little bit on the shorter side commentary wise so sit back, relax, and listen to the soothing sounds of sanding. Let's get to it. To sand down the neck, we're going to be using a combination of 220 and 320 grit sandpapers. To sand down all the flat surfaces, like the headstock, we're going to be using this flat sanding block to ensure everything is, well, flat. As always, when you're sanding, be sure to wear a respirator or a dust mask and some safety glasses. You're better safe than sorry. So let's get to it! The first area I want to focus on is the headstock. Let's use that flat sanding block to sand off the finish on the headstock. I am sanding everything with 220 grit sandpaper to begin with. Here I am using an attachment for my spindle sander to sand the headstock transition. These spindle attachments work great for all the curves on guitar bodies and necks. It can be very difficult to sand the truss rod axis hole. I decided to try and sand off some of the finish with this Dremel grinding stone bit. It actually worked pretty well. I then sanded it with some 120 grit sandpaper and moved up to 220 grit after that. The front of the headstock is done, now let's move on to the sides. For the back and sides, I'm using a combination of the flat sanding block and the spindle sander attachments to sand off the finish. This is the same process as before, so let's get to sanding. The headstock is fully sanded to 220 grit. Now let's move on to the neck. For the neck, it's really easy. We're just going to be using a folded up piece of 220 grit sandpaper. Sanding, sanding, and more sanding. This is the life of a guitar builder, for real. Up next is the heel. I'm going to be using a combination of the flat sanding block as well as the spindle sander attachments to sand off the finish, just like before. All right, look at that. The neck is sanded down and it's looking great.
the area in the neck pocket can be a little tricky to sand. This area really won't be visible, but I decided to sand it down anyways. And that's a wrap. I went ahead and repeated the process with 320 grit and the neck is ready for the next step. And that about does it for this video. Sanding is never fun, but it's one of the most important steps of the process. So don't rush it. In the next episode, we're going to be drilling out new inlays, side dots, and we're also going to be re-radiusing the fretboard. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.